Well, right now, a Milwaukee County judge has blocked a new policy that oversees the release of Milwaukee police body camera video. Bruce Harrison reports from the county courthouse. The judge basically says that until a court's fully able to understand, in his words, the significant dispute at hand, the Fire and Police Commission's new policy on body camera video is going to have to wait, at least for now. The Milwaukee Police Association requested a temporary injunction calling the Fire and Police Commission's body camera policy unlawful. That doesn't mean their power is unchecked and they still have to do things the right way and they haven't done so here. Um, their actions here were intentional and deliberate. The officers union accuses the commission of violating collective bargaining rights by leaving it out of talks on the policy. The city argues the commission's policy only impacts timelines for video release and has nothing to do with bargaining. And I think it is a major flaw in the argument that the MPA says we uh, that the FPC did this in secret. The new standard operating procedure for releases allows families of those injured or killed by police to view video within 48 hours of the incident. It also requires body cam video be released to the public within 15 days. Activists who back the Fire and Police Commission don't believe the union's latest move will ultimately reverse the policy. And so we just feel like this is a, a sort of a fishing expedition for them. They're trying to see what they could get away with. They're trying to throw their weight around. So ultimately, we see this as a blip. The court was supposed to take up the union's lawsuit in late June, but the union asked for a hearing this week and a temporary injunction after two non-fatal officer-involved shootings on May 5th. The block will remain in place until at least June 28th when the parties meet in court again. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.